knock them, and without further ado, welcome to the forum. Thanks, Brad, and good evening, everyone. I'm Nahum Sadan, the CEO of Amperion, and Amperion empowers smart grid communications. Uh, we are a Massachusetts company based uh, in Tewksbury, uh, off Route 495, and uh, we're a provider of smart grid communications to electric utilities. So I've identified uh, what we're doing in our target market. Uh, a little bit of history, uh, we, we were founded in uh, 2001 by the largest networking company in the world and uh, one of the largest utilities in the United States, American Electric Power. And uh, that uh, beginning eight years ago is reflected in the DNA of the company. Uh, power engineering and networking communications is embedded in, uh, in the people and the company's history. We're also known as uh, a PPL, a broadband over power line company, because we are holding the uh, foundational patents uh, for the technology. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the two inventors of the technology, <coughs> Dr. John Dickinson, used to work for Appearance until three years ago. Uh, but we're not only a VPL company, we, uh, over the years since uh, our foundation, we've uh, invented technologies um, and innovations in hybrid networks integrating uh, wired and wireless communications. I'd like to, uh, since I'm going to use uh, some acronyms here, I'd like to uh, take you quickly through a technology primer here uh, to establish some sort of baseline. Uh, some people will be more familiar with the terms than others. Uh, let me start with BPL. BPL stands for Broadband Over Power Line. And as Brad mentioned, it's uh, the concept of using the utility's own wires as a communications medium. The electric grid is not just a low voltage, 110 AC uh, network in, your, in the home, but it includes uh, all the way from the generation plant, includes the high voltage transmission grid to substations where the power is being stepped down uh, through uh, large transformers to the medium voltage uh, distribution grid. Um, and the medium voltage distribution grid uh, will deliver uh, electricity to your homes or businesses through uh, uh, the low voltage uh, connection, uh, through transformers that will transform the power from medium voltage to low voltage. Um, the electric grid is, uses underground and overhead. And Empyrean covers the whole range. We provide communication solutions for transmission and distribution, overhead and underground, low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage. Now, broadband um, is defined as transmission rates greater than one megabit per second. So, using that definition, 56 kilobit dial up and 256 kilobit DSL are not broadband. Although, you will find out in some cases that uh, it's being claimed to be broadband. They are narrowband technologies. BPL uses frequency range between 2 to 34 megahertz. It coexists with the 60 hertz power signal. Uh, it uses the same concept as DSL. Uh, the DSL uses a, an overlay over the existing phone lines. Uh, it coexists with your uh, POTS signal. Uh, however, BPL, unlike DSL, is symmetric. Uh, it is the uplink and the, data, data, and the downlink are identical in data rates. Uh, as Brad mentioned, um, power line communications is, a, is not a new concept. It's been around since the 60s, uh, and it's being used widely um, across the world by electric utilities. Uh, it operates at very slow rates, kilobit rates, um, and at frequency of uh, a little less than 150 kilohertz. Uh, what is smart grid? Um, smart grid has many interpretations. It's still a work in progress. It's hard to define. Uh, you, uh, people are, who are in the business uh, of smart grid like we are um, for so many years, um, smart grid, you hear, you hear this uh, statement a lot, that smart grid is a journey, not a destination. Uh, I will use the definition of the Department of Energy. And DOE defines smart grid as the entire electricity delivery system integrated with two-way communications and information technology applications. Uh, however, if you look, if you um, read the papers, listen to the news, and you watch the uh, developments in this market space, um, 
most, if not all, the deployments in Smart Grid today uh, are around um, replacing one-way analog meters with uh, two-way digital meters or uh, developing applications for home energy. Ampere's focus is on the entire grid, which is in line with the DOE's vision. Uh, AMI stands for Advanced Metering Infrastructure. Um, some people will call it Smart Metering. It is smart because um, uh, it replaces an old um, dial analog meter with a digital two-way uh, meter. Uh, when I refer to open standards, I will refer to IP, which is the uh, Internet Protocol. Um, and deep IP uh, means delivering IP to the meter and behind the meter. Um, into the home to enable home area network applications. And HAN stands for home area networks. Um, that's basically the uh, uh, combination of uh, uh, demand response uh, applications using uh, controllers and thermostats in the home to uh, uh, let the utility control your washer dryer and other beautiful things like that. Um, hybrid networks. Um, hybrid networks is a concept that Aperion um, developed, and that is using a variety of integrated communications interfaces, um, both wired and wireless, to uh, offer flexibility and expandability. So with that, um, moving to the next slide, I just created this slide to uh, impress you with my PowerPoint skills. So. Um, I'm not going to read the, the uh, quote from the DOE's definition. Um, I, I gave you the short version of it, but you can do it at your pace. I'd like to draw your attention to Pyramid. This is the DOE's Smart Grid Pyramid, which shows the energy infrastructure at the bottom. Right above that is the communications infrastructure, and this is our focus. And above the communication infrastructure are the Smart Grid applications. So our focus is to um, operate on the boundary between the uh, physical energy in, uh, infrastructure, these are the utility assets, uh, both uh, inside and outside the substations on the feeders, uh, and provide the communications layer that enables the smart grid applications that, that um, sit on top of that. Now, I'm attending a clean energy forum, so you, you may ask, how is smart grid related to clean energy? Well, it is a green technology, um, and the reason is it reduces the carbon footprint. And uh, smart grid, although it is a communications technology, it is designed to enable, um, I'll give you a few examples, uh, there are many more, alternative energy resources integrating, say, wind farms or solar panels or all these alternative uh, energy resources that are being talked about and are being developed these days. At the end of the day, they'll have to be integrated into the grid. They have to be managed. This is where smart grid communications comes in. Then there's uh, peak shaving, uh, demand response, load balancing, and other energy efficiency applications uh, that they are all designed to reduce energy consumption, uh, whether it's in the home or the business. Um, all that for um, the, the goal for uh, delaying uh, the need to build new energy, uh, new generation plants. So all this will reduce the carbon footprint. This is my definition of a smart grid. It's divided into three parts the home, the meter, and the grid. And then the grid is defined further, this is the DOE's definition, into three parts. Generation, uh, that's where the energy is generated. Transmission and distribution. Transmission and distribution, basically to deliver the energy from the point of generation to the point of load consumption. Um, uses substations, uses feeders, and uses, uses a variety of utility assets inside the substation and on the feeders. As I mentioned earlier, today, um, most of the activity, when people talk about smart grid, they refer to developing home energy systems, and, and actually the next speaker will tell you about that uh, in more detail, and um, replacing meters. Uh, replacing meters and, and developing home energy systems is only part of the equation, and uh, uh, definitely not all of it. 